Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how I made these really cool pool reflection wavy plank and pole jump set. So first I cut the waves out of 2x12 planks. I didn't show exactly how I made the wave design or measured it, but I would be happy to make a separate video on that if anyone's interested. To prep my rails, I used a stiff bristle brush to get all the dirt and dust out of the crevices and nicks in the wood that I wanted to fill. Once all the debris was removed, I began applying my latex-based caulk. Uh, I used the DAP one with silicone. Um, it doesn't really matter which brand you use, just as long as it's latex-based if you're using latex paint. I go over the bigger imperfections and then I use this tool to help smooth it out and push it down into the bigger cracks. I don't do every single imperfection. Uh, I suppose you can if you want to, but paint will fill a lot of the small cracks. I repeat this for all the large cracks in the rail and in all the other rails. And there was a couple imperfections, though not very many, in the wave planks, so I did those as well. Basically anywhere there's like a pock, or a bit of a crack, you can fill it in and smooth it out and it will look a lot better. Once all the cracks and crevices had been filled with the caulk, I let it dry for a full 24 hours before trying to sand it. If you try to sand it too soon, it will gum up your sandpaper. I then primed everything, rails, wave planks, all gray. I like to use a light gray primer because I find that the white primer can shine through the bright colors sometimes. I then painted the wave planks both this solid turquoise color that I mixed myself. Um, using royal blue, a little bit of lime green, and a little bit of white. Then I taped off my rails in two foot sections, so there's five color block sections there. And I decided the two on either side of center were going to be turquoise, so I painted them the same base color as the rails. Now I didn't do an exact tutorial on how to do this paint job because I honestly wasn't sure if it was going to turn out, so this is skipped ahead two steps. I added the counter shading in dark blue by adding navy to my turquoise color. And then I used thinned out white paint and a paint stick to kind of swirl the white around and some of the swirls I left fully intact and some of them I kind of smeared with the tip of my stick to give it kind of that cracked, scritchy look that water reflections do actually have. Once that had a bit of a chance to dry, I removed all the green tape to expose the sections of grey, and then I re-taped it to protect the blue so that I could paint all the non-blue sections of the rails white. It's 
So here it is halfway through the tape job. You can see the blue is protected on the right and I haven't taped off the left side just and here we have the set fully taped off, ready for the white coats of paint, which is the final step. And here we have the completed jump set. The blue looks a little darker here because it was getting later in the day, but I assure you it's the same jump set. I have alternating white and the water crackle white, the water crackle white on my rails, and then the planks are painted just solid. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. There was a point in the middle there after I had added the dark shading that I was quite concerned it wasn't going to look a way I was going to be happy with, but it did end up turning out in the end. So there's the finished product. Um, obviously not set up yet. I do have to still do a very thin coat, which I do on all my jumps to help repel dust and protect the paint job a little longer than normal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't like a perfect tutorial format. Just because I didn't want to try to teach you something I was doing for the first time and kind of unsure of, but this video is the steps to get you to this end product. And I figure if you have some experience in jump building and painting, you would be able to recreate this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more um, like precise steps on how to do stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks.